All right, so in this problem, I have m squared minus m to the power of 3 is equal to 12. So to solve this, I'm going to first add m to the power of 3 on both sides and subtract m squared on both sides. So then these two cancel out. And now I have 12 plus m to the power of 3 minus m squared is equal to 0. Now I'm going to rewrite this as m to the power of 3 minus m squared plus 12 is equal to 0. Now to actually solve, to actually find the solutions for all the solutions for this equation, I need to first start by finding one and use that one solution to find the other ones. So we're going to do that by just simply plugging in values until we find one. So if we start with one, well, obviously if we plug in one, it wouldn't work. Two, if we plug in two, we have two to the power of three, which is eight. Eight minus four is four. Four plus 12 is 16. 16 does not equal zero. But negative two, let's see negative two. So I have negative two to the power of three minus negative two squared plus 12 is equal to zero. Negative two to the power of three is negative eight. And negative two squared is four. So I have negative four plus 12 is equal to zero. Negative eight minus four is negative 12. So I have negative 12 plus 12 equals zero meaning negative two is a solution. So now that I know that negative two is a solution, I can use this to find the rest of the equations, or sorry, solutions, by dividing my equation here, m squared, or sorry, m to the power of three minus m squared plus 12 by m plus 2, because m plus 2 is the same thing as saying m equals negative 2 is a solution. So this is the same thing as m to the power of m squared minus 3m plus 6. So now we have m plus 2 times m squared minus 3m plus 6 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, we have two equations, m plus 2 is equal to 0, and m squared minus 3m plus 6 is equal to 0. So obviously from m plus 2 equals 0, we already know that m equals negative 2. We already found the solution out. But from m squared minus 3m plus 6 equals 0, we have to use the quadratic formula. And I'm not going to waste you guys' time by actually plugging everything in, but you should get that m is equal to 3 plus or minus the square root of 15i over 2. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of m minus 3 to the power of m is equal to 544. So I'm first going to let a equal 5, and I'm going to let b equal 3. So now I have a to the power of m minus b to the power of m is equal to 544. Now, this means that b squared is the same thing as, remember, b equals 3, so it's 3 squared, which is equal to 9, right? So this means, and this also means that a squared, which is the same thing as 5 squared, is equal to 25. So this means that a squared minus b squared is equal to 25 minus 9, which is 16. And this also means that a squared plus b squared, which is 25 plus 9, is 34. So by knowing this, we can say that a to the power of m minus b to the power of m is equal to, we know that this is equal to 16 times 34 because 544, that's equal to 16 times 34. And a squared minus b squared is 16, a squared plus b squared is 34. So I'm going to rewrite this as a to the power of m minus b to the power of m is equal to a squared minus b squared times a squared plus b squared. So now from here, if I factor out 
a squared and a squared and or sorry if i factor out a squared plus b squared i get a to the power of m minus b to the power of m is equal to a squared times a squared plus b squared minus b squared times a squared plus b squared and this is the same thing as a to the power of 4 plus a squared b squared minus b to the power of 4 minus b squared So now, I can replace A and B back in, or sorry, before that, actually, this is going to be the same thing as A to the power of 2 times 2 minus b to the power of 2 times 2, which is equal to a to the power of 4 minus b to the power of 4, meaning m is equal to 4. So this is my solution. All right, so in this problem, I have 4 to the power of x is equal to 12. So to solve this, I'm going to first take the log on both sides. So I have log 4 to the power of x is equal to log 12. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 4 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log 4 is equal to log 12. Now, if I divide both sides by log 4, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 12 over log 4. Now, I can rewrite log 12 as log of 4 times 3. So I have log of 4 times 3 over log of 4. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 4 times 3, that's going to equal log 4 plus log 3. And I have this over log 4. So now this is the same thing as log 4 over log 4 plus log 3 over log 4. Now log 4 and log 4, these two cancel out. So now I get x is equal to 1 plus log 3 over log 4. And log 4, that's the same thing as 2 squared. So I get 1 plus log 3 over log of 2 squared, and remember I can move this 2 to the front. So now I have log 3 over 2 log 2. And this is the same thing as 1 plus 0 0.7925, which is equal to 1.7925. 